What's up, Coach? How are we doing today? Hi. Thanks for having me. Thanks for uh, joining us. Thank you so much, Coach. Coach, I mean, where we like to really start out with is uh, sort of meet the team segment. And I know with the schedule that you guys have, you're going to need to have everyone ready and prepared. So what is this uh, 2022 edition of the Mooney Cardinals going to look like? Yeah, so we have a lot of familiar faces coming back. Um, we kind of have a new look. So we moved a lot of positions. We have five seniors joining us this year. Two just came this season. Um, we have Addison Stacy returning with us. She was our libero last year. She'll be our setter this year. Um, Marissa Bowman, she was our right side last year. She'll be an outside hitter. Um, Maria Fire, she was our middle last year. She's staying in the middle. She's actually probably the only person who has the same position from last season. Um, then our two new seniors is Mara Blanco. She'll get time as a right side hitter and an outside. And then Abby Mitchell, she's going to be our libero. We have juniors, um, five of them who will get varsity time. Maria Pecchio, she has evolved this season a lot. Um, she was a DS for us last year, but she'll get some time as a right side and as a DS. And then Amara Anderson will be an outside hitter for us. Katie Frommel and Angeli Blasco will be in the back row. And then Nina Santizi will also be in the back row and get some right side action. And lastly, we have Jada Lane. She will be a middle. She's a sophomore. Coach, like you said, a lot of a lot of returning faces, but new yeah. positions. Uh, in in the summer months and, and working with this team, how much have they embraced kind of saying that that I'm gonna be in a new spot this year and I'm gonna I'm gonna do something a little bit different for the team and whatever that mean whatever that means for the success of the team. Um, honestly, they have truly embraced it. We have worked a lot this summer with kind of having two lineups. Um, we know that some of the stronger teams are going to have, you know, big middles. And so we have a lineup for that. And then we know some teams will have big outside. So we have a lineup for that. So they have really adapted to anything that we've thrown at them. Um, we have great senior leadership. Everyone's just kind of embracing it and they're doing an awesome job with it. Coaches, I'm sure you know you got to play with what you got too, but I'm sure it's got to it's got to be exciting bringing back three girls that all produced 50 or more total blocks last season. I mean, how exciting is it is it to have this net defense and what kind of advantages does that allow you to have over certain teams this season? That is something that we're so excited about and again, that was kind of our mindset when we made this new lineup. Um we want to use our height to our advantage. So moving people like Amara um, to the outside so that way she can block with one of our middles, either Fire or Jada, that's going to give us a huge block against any type of offense that another team is running. That's going to score us points at the end of the day. We want to get as many touches and slowdowns on balls as we can to help out our defense. So that's just our game plan the entire season. How excited are you to kind of step into this head coaching role and, and take your first year as kind of the next level and, and be the head coach of this varsity program? I'm really excited. Um, I knew I wasn't done with the program. I played in this program, so I've been around Mooney for Mooney Volleyball for 10 years now, I think. Um, so I just knew I, I wasn't ready to leave it. Um, I knew the girls that we had coming back and the potential that we had coming back, and it was something that helped make my decision very easy. In our talks with other coaches and in our talks with each other, too, we always talk about how the setter position is always a tough one to kind of replace in a, in a team, yeah. too. So in saying that, what's your advice when you're trying to groom that new setter as you are this season to kind of take over and be uh, be that kind of quarterback, I guess, on the court for you? Yeah. Um, we talked to Addison in the beginning of the year. Um, we always meet with the girls individually and kind of tell them where they're at and our expectations. And I just told her to remain calm. Um, I had the privilege of coaching her in lacrosse too. So I kind of have that relationship with her where, you know, we understand each other. I kind of know how she can get in her own head at times. But I told her just to trust herself, um, trust that we put her in that position because we know that she's capable of it. And then really just be a vocal leader. It's her senior year. She deserves the spot. She's worked for it all summer. That's the reason we gave it to her. So again, just remaining calm, trusting in the process. She'll, she'll be fine. Perfect segue because I wanted to bring up lacrosse and coaching yeah. lacrosse. I mean, obviously, it's your first year as a head coach of the volleyball team, but not your first year as a head coach. So yeah. how much has that experience, how much easier did that make the decision knowing exactly what you were getting into with a head coaching job and exactly all the things that came in with it? How much did the experience of coaching lacrosse uh, make it kind of even easier to make that jump into a head coach of the volleyball team? Um, it made it a lot easier, honestly. I already know the administration very well. 
Um, I'm thankful for them for trusting me with two programs. Um, it, it made it perfectly easy because I do have a lot of girls that play both, which is nice, but then it is nice to kind of get to know two separate group of girls and kind of to relate skills from lacrosse to volleyball or from volleyball to lacrosse. It, it just makes the transition easy for all of us. And I know you're you're separated with the winter between seasons, but that still has to be a juggling act to try to kind of keep yeah. them both in your head. You know, you always want to kind of keep lacrosse in the back of your mind and, and be preparing for the lacrosse season. What's it like now uh, knowing that you do have two programs on your shoulders and you're responsible for them both? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a lot. Um, I actually don't have the winter off. I um, teach at JFK and Warren. And they got me to coach seventh and eighth grade basketball last year. Um, so I do that in the winter. But honestly, I love being busy. I love, you know, I'm a very organized person. So that aspect of it is fine for me. But definitely now knowing that, okay, during winter, like I would go from basketball straight to lacrosse. Um, that's our off season. And then this time it'll be at the end of lacrosse, you know, we'll be starting volleyball open gym. So it's definitely going to be a lot to juggle, but again, I, I love being busy and I love coaching. So it's pretty easy. What, what gives you that love for coaching and what, what specifically is that, what is it that keeps you coming back and going from sport to sport yeah. every year? Um, honestly, I, I love creating the relationships with the girls. That's the biggest part for me. Um, seeing them, you know, come from volleyball and then be like, Oh, I'm playing lacrosse this year. Like I can't wait to, you know, spend more time together. That type of stuff means everything to me at the end of the day. Yeah, we want to win games. We want to be successful. But those relationships are kind of what keeps me coming back. Besides the talent level, what's the biggest difference between coaching at the varsity level in high school and then going in and coaching the 7th and 8th grade team over at uh, Warren KFK? <laughs> the hardest thing for me is probably, like, the intensity level. 7th um, and 8th grade, you know, they're transitioning into sports and kind of, you know, just playing for fun in a way. And at the varsity level, you know, we're playing to win. We're putting the best people out on the floor. And so <laughs> coaching seventh and eighth grade, like I just remember the first time I was like, okay, I got to kind of like watch how I talk to them, like approach them, you know, really, really nicely. Um, and I just told them, I want you to learn anything from me. I want you to learn just kind of how to be prepared for a high school program. Um, they run an awesome basketball program here. So that's the biggest thing that I wanted to help them with. How special is it that you get to – uh, coach at the place you played to with Mooney too. And what, what is this deep love for, uh, for the school? Like, um, honestly, it, it's so special. I was on the district championship team for Mooney. Um, it's our only district championship. So that's something that, you know, I'm looking to get back at, but those memories are just so special to me and being able to, you know, help create memories for the girls that are there now. That's what means the most. What were some of your favorite off the court memories that you had with Mooney with your teammates and, and some of the bonding memories that you had that you hope that you can give to your team now off the court? Um, hmm. Just spending time together. I mean, during the season, we're just nonstop together. And that's kind of how it's been for us so far. We've run double sessions. Um, we're doing a spirit week this week. So anything to kind of make the atmosphere fun for the girls is what we're looking for. What are some major significant things you learned in going from being a player to a coach? Um, honestly, I learned so much more through coaching than I did as a player. Um, constantly just researching the game. I learned, you know, being a player and knowing how you're receptive towards different information. That's something that I take in with coaching. Not everyone's going to respond to a tough love approach. Um, you might have to be more gentle when you're approaching other people. And so that's some things I've learned just playing with other people and through coaching. And then just more about the game. I've learned so much through coaching. So I saw on social media yesterday was what Adam Sandler look alike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I let them pick the themes. I mean, I said I, I must be old because I didn't even know that was like a thing, but they that's loved a first. it. Uh, I was looking at the other group picture. Who do you think won the, the best look alike? Uh, who do you think got um, that? Because definitely Jada Lane and Olivia McElrath. They came with like mustaches, sunglasses. Like they really embraced it. They had that uh, that uncut gyms look for Adam Sandler. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's what's the theme tonight? 
Um, well, tonight we're going to Western Reserve. We have a scrimmage with Canfield and Western weird. Reserve. <laughs> um, so there's no theme for that. We're not going to show up in anything crazy. But we got um, red, white, and blue plans. We have Senior Citizen Day. That will be a funny one. And then they have um, wrong sport. So they'll show up like basketball players, football players, whatever. So I said, as long as you're in something that you can practice in, I'm, I'm cool with it. Don't be setting in football pads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be funny. Should be fun this season for sure, Coach. Anthony and I were actually having a discussion, too, about the evolution of high school sports and how it's always evolving. And I'm sure yeah. you know that sports specifically are always evolving. In the short time since you've been a player to now being a coach, how have you noticed uh, the sport of volleyball evolve? And in what ways? Um, I think the sport has gotten so much more competitive. Um, it's, it's almost like a higher level of volleyball. And that was one of our goals when developing our offense this season is to be a higher level offense. Um, so I think the competitive nature of the sport has grown immensely. I want to make sure that we talk about your schedule before we get you out of here. I mean, like every Mooney sports team, you guys put together a tough one. Yeah. Uh, who are some teams that pop up that you're really excited to compete with? And and how much do you think this schedule is going to prepare you for your tournament run? Um, we are super excited. We open up with Lakeview. We know it's a tall task. Um, when the season started, we kind of talked to them about being prepared and being unprepared and our expectations. And one of them was not being afraid of competition. Like you said, our schedule is absolutely loaded. So opening up with Lakeview is a good test for us to not be afraid of that competition, to control the things that we can control. So we're excited for them. We're excited for Crestview, Fitch, um, Hallen's another good one, Canfield we play. So, and then always, I mean, the Ursuline rivalry is always a huge thing for our conference. So those are some of the games we're looking forward to. Before we get you out of here, Coach, we always like to also do a kind of meet the staff segment as well because we know you can't do it yourself with this program. So I want to give you a chance to highlight your assistants and other big names in this Mooney Volleyball program you'd like to shout out. Um, yeah, so with my staff, couldn't do them without it. Um, so Lauren Markovich is my assistant varsity coach. Haley Blangero, she will be the JV coach and another assistant varsity coach. And then we brought a familiar face back, um, Elena Francis. She just graduated last year. She played six rotations for us. She's going to help out with JV, and she's been awesome with the new kids coming in. You know, she's relatable and just came out of the program. Um, I also need to thank Carl Polini, our athletic director. Um, Michelle Bova, she's become our athletic secretary. She's done a great job this year so far. And then um, Vince and Diane Polini, they kind of organize our parochial league. So we have all these, like, 7th and 8th grade games on Sundays at Mooney. They do a great job organizing that for me. So, yeah, couldn't do it without any of them. Super excited to hear Elena Francis is coming back as a coach. That's, yeah, that's she's awesome. done a great job. Uh, coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today, giving us a little bit of a preview of Cardinal Mooney Volleyball. We look forward to covering you all season, and hopefully we can get you on a couple of times throughout the year to talk yeah. about Cardinal success. Perfect. Thank you, guys.